What's the fastest way to detect and fix unexpected database behavior? Join us on a behind the scenes look at database management with DB Plus Performance Monitor and discover how you can identify and resolve anomalies within minutes. We initiate our session by selecting our target database and navigating to the database load tab. It's currently displaying the performance profile over the past two weeks, which we have previously marked on our calendar for easy reference. That's how we notice abnormal activity marked by numerous alerts. The server CPU usage indicated by the orange line escalates to full capacity. This spike in CPU usage coincides with an increase in both the elapsed time for operations and the wait time. However, this information by itself, useful as it is, does not solve our issue. So let's find the cause. Within the Anomaly Monitor, one click away from the previous tab, we can identify the exact events connected to our issues. As it turns out, new SQL statements correlate with the spikes in our database load overview. That's not enough though, let's dig even deeper. We select the problematic date and focus on the new SQL statement. There, a specific query shows a dramatic increase in elapsed time. Although it initially started with minimal execution time, it escalated as the issue persisted. To understand the root of the performance issue, we have to analyze the execution plans for the SQL query in question. So let's give it a click and view SQL details. Initially, the query utilized a nested loop approach, which later switched to full table access. This change coincided with increased resource demand and performance degradation. But which of the two plans is an objectively better one in this case? The Compare Plans feature highlights differences between the two execution strategies. The visual comparison clearly shows how the shift from a nested loop to full table access contributed to higher buffer gets, CPU time, and elapsed time per execution. We can even separate the plans to see everything more clearly. Based on our findings, we already opted to enforce the more efficient nested loop execution plan, and now, there is nothing left but to confirm the validity of our decision. After applying the changes, we revisit the database load tab to verify the effectiveness of our interventions. The results are immediately apparent. A reduction in elapsed time, wait time, CPU time, and the cessation of alerts, indicating a successful resolution. Go to dbplus.tech to learn more and try the performance monitor by yourself in a free trial.